Hey guys, and welcome to episode one of a series that I've been really, really, really excited to start. We're going to be playing Spelunky for the PC. the uh, Not the initial version, obviously, but the Xbox 360 version that uh, just came out today on the PC. So excited. I've been waiting for this ever since it came out on the Xbox. It's always looked like such a fun game. So this is the first time I've ever played this game. I played the tutorial, and that is it. So what we're going to be doing is playing the Daily Challenge. And this is how I'm going to do this series. I'm going to try every single day to do a daily challenge in Spelunky. And uh, if you don't know what the daily challenge is, the way this works is every single day... Sorry, I'll get my mouse pointer off the screen, by the way. But every single day, there is a, a level seated that goes to every single player the same exact way. And everybody can play it just once. And uh, the uh, there's a leaderboard every single day for, you know, who got the furthest. And it's really awesome because you can't practice it over and over again. You have to just play as far as you can get in uh, in the level, you know, your first try on a sight read. And, um, you know, you just compete on a completely level playing field with everyone else. And I think that's a really cool idea for a roguelike to do. I love the idea of everybody having the same seed. It makes it really good for you know, uh, competitive content, like I'm sure we'll do a green versus zen of the Spelunky daily challenge at some point, uh, you know, if not more than once, because, you know, that just seems real fucking fun. You know, it's, uh, it's the sort of thing I would love to see in something like Isaac as well. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to whip this, because I feel like I would hurt the damsel. Okay, good, we're all good. So, by the way, keep in mind, I've played the PC version of Spelunky, or, um, <laughs> yeah, I guess I can... It doesn't really make sense to call it the PC version anymore, because now this exists. By the way, how do I... How are we going to do this? Is there is there space here? Yes, there is. Okay, so we're going to, like, bomb here and then go up. Wow, two gems out of that. It's uh, lucky. Oh, God. Uh, but, yeah, I've played the PC version, but this is obviously substantially different. The controls are way different, way smoother, I think, anyway. Uh, let's just... You stay down there. I don't want to bring you into any danger here. Uh, and I've also watched a lot of content for this game, so I'm not ignorant. I know, you know, a lot of how this game works. However, my mechanical skill, especially to start out here, is going to be pretty poor. So I hope nobody gets too upset at me for any mistakes I make in this game. I'm going to be doing my best, but uh, I'm definitely not going to be the best Spelunky player you've ever seen in your life. I'm going to have to, you know, figure out how the nuances of the controls. It's certainly not an easy game to control. It's very, you know, mechanically precise is maybe a good word for it. You, There's a lot of ways to, uh, you know, hurt yourself by just barely fucking things up. Maybe even ruin the run by just barely fucking things up. Uh, just land on some spikes and die immediately. So that's going to be a concern. But so far, things are going all right. Oh, terrible chill runs up my spine. That means the ghost is coming. I just... Just want that last gold bar. Sorry, I'll see you later, Mr. Ghost. That was a pretty good first floor, I would say. But, yeah, anyway, so uh, to clarify, I want to be doing this series every single day, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be stopping other series. I'm going to, on most days, try to do two videos. You know, there's the Spelunky Daily Challenge and then something else. Some days, especially if I, you know, survive for a particularly long time in the Spelunky Daily Challenge, then uh, maybe we'll do... Uh, just that video for that day, but I'm, I'm gonna try to not let this cut into other content, but I just love the idea so much of it just being, you know, something that you guys can come back for every day, and also something you guys can participate in yourself. Maybe you can play the daily challenge for yourself, and then come to, uh, to my channel and see how I did on the same exact level that you were on. I just walked right into that snake, which makes me feel like a big fucking dingus, but that's the kind of thing I was talking about. I'm not, not a very good Spelunky player yet. You gotta you know, hone my skills a little bit. But anyway, yeah, so um, I think it's going to be a, a fun series, and hopefully one that you guys enjoy as much as I will. Uh, I've been looking forward to, for this <laughs> to this game, like I said, forever. It looks so much fun. I was a huge, huge, huge fan of Northern Lion series when he was doing this on the Xbox. I watched every single episode, some of them multiple times, because it was just so fucking good and funny. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I, like, the whole time I was just like, God damn it, I wish I had an Xbox. I considered, on multiple occasions, just, like, buying a used Xbox 360 so that I could fucking get Spelunky and play it. 
Uh, but I was like, ah, it's gonna come to the PC. I know it's gonna come to the PC eventually. And uh, I was right, here it is. But, uh, you know, there were times when I doubted it. it took a whole year for it to get here. I'm sure it was a, an exclusivity agreement with Microsoft. Do I have enough bombs to make it worth it to get that? It's, that's like, that's like 3,000 gold. That's enough for a bomb box right there. Or a, not a bomb box, but a bomb bag, which is three bombs. So I'm gonna come in here and pick up this gold. I think that's a good fiscal uh, decision. I think that's fiscally responsible of me. Uh, and here, oh, well, here we go. Yeah, right away, my, uh, my decision is validated. You know what, I'm gonna buy every single one of these bombs because bombs are incredibly valuable in Spelunky, especially as you go later on. Just really important to have a lot of bombs from what I've watched in everybody else's series. We're gonna make out with this damsel uh, and uh, inexplicably gain health from that. I'm not really sure how mechanically that's supposed to work. Oh god, fucking damn it. Well, there goes that, because that's gonna be the theme of this run, I guess. Like, get health and then immediately fucking lose it by being just the biggest idiot of all time. <laughs> like, throwing a rock at your own head or walking into a snake. But, uh, you know, I'll take it. It's whatever. My first ever run of Spelunky, so g cut me some slack here. I think I'm doing pretty well so far. Yeah, just throw the throw the woman at, a, at the spider, no big deal. Usually it works the other way around, I think. Oh, man. You are the luckiest bitch in the world. Can you- I, she came so close to death on those spikes. Alright, I don't like this situation one bit. We're gonna get rid of her, and then I'm gonna be like... Bam, and then... Arrow trap went off. Excellent. Okay, that's pretty much the ideal situation there. I'm gonna grab her, we're gonna come down here. We're not gonna fuck around with all those other spiders. That seems like an awful idea. We are definitely uh, going to- oh no! And spiders. We're definitely going to sacrifice the damsel, pick up the climbing gloves, which are going to allow us to stick to walls like this. It's a good decision. Uh, usually a good decision, unless you're very low on health, it seems, to, uh, to sacrifice damsels to, um, to those altars, because they'll give you an item on the first time, just a random item, and on the second time- oh no. Fuck, I didn't know that spider was there. Uh, on the second time, you can pick up, uh, a um, Kapala, which gives you a lot of health, so it's a it's a health investment. That's a lot of crates. I'm definitely gonna come down there. I was considering picking up the idol, uh, but I I couldn't see if there were any shopkeepers down here. I really don't want to piss any of them off. My first time through. We can also get back up there with the climbing gloves. Let's pick up these bombs, as well as a compass, which uh, shows us where the exit is with that nifty red arrow right there and uh, let's just clear everything out here make sure we're all safe and then I will go ahead and pick up the idol because I think we have a fairly safe run for it I'm just gonna come up here a terrible chill runs up my spine that's terrible I, I by definition uh, let's get the fuck over to the exit before the- oh no, the ghost is right there. Go! Go! <sighs> okay. This is almost the end of my first ever Spelunky run. I wouldn't have liked that very much at all. Alright. <laughs> so we're down to two health. Not- I'm not thrilled about that. I- fuck, I wish I had time to bring a rock. Because this is just- the awkwardest of situations. If I go over there and jump on that snake's head, the spider will come down. I have to like... Yeah, okay, and then... Oh, come on, how did that hit me? It's impossible, I was on top of it. This is video game law that you can't get hit on your shoes. Because they instantly kill every enemy. Or at least damage it. This is an immutable rule of video games. And I refuse to accept this blasphemy. These guys are coming to life left and right, aren't they? Kill that guy, pick up some money. Alright, so we're low on health. That's uh, that's where we are right now. And I have a feeling that's just going to get worse as time goes on. We could really use the damsel. And uh, hey, there she is. Are, are we in a snake pit? Kind of looks like we're in a snake pit. That could be an okay situation. There is a bunch of loot here, and uh, we could also- oh man, I could get a Kapala right here. Fuck it. Let's 
do it. Oh no, the ruby. I wanted that. Oh no, that guy. Uh, that guy takes two hits to kill. We got the Kapala. Okay, we're gonna jump down here. We're gonna take his delicious blood. The blood fills the Kapala, and uh, when the Kapala fills with blood, it will give us a heart. It does not take long to fill the Kapala with blood, so we will very quickly make back our damsel investment there. Yeah, it's almost full already. That's a big deal. There's the ch the key to get the Ujedi, which will show us where all the gems are, and is also part of an absurd multi-step process to get to a secret area. Yeah, there we go. We got a heart already. We we've made up the damsel. We have a health earlier than we would have gotten if we just sacrificed her immediately, so I'm very happy about my decision there. I want to kill the snake and get its blood. Don't want to fall to my death! I fell to my death. <laughs> well, I didn't fall to my death. Which is nice, but I did fall, and that was real stupid. Kill that man, kill that guy. Give me my blood! Okay. We're almost up. We- oh man, yeah, we got a whole health there and almost another one. Kapala's so good. This is gonna be like silly good. And the nice thing is if we get another damsel, we can just whip the shit out of that bitch. Uh, pardon the turn of phrase. I don't even know if that is a turn of phrase, but whatever. Oh no, 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 okay, okay. I, oh fuck. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> no, no! Ah, oh, I couldn't get on the ledge. All right. That could have gone so much better. I gotta speed up a little bit. The ghost is coming way too often for my liking. I was so close to the chest. I was like, oh, I can just get over there and get that chest. And I was way too slow. And the ghost came. I should have just gone. I should have just gone, left the chest. The chest's not even that important. I'm not gonna get to the fucking black market on my first try, but... Shit happens. So that is the first ever daily challenge. Uh, I'm sure I'm, like, really high up there. Actually, I beat Mathis' game, so, uh, fuck you, Mathis. <laughs> But pretty quickly, when the game comes out later today, I think I'm going to be in a bad situation uh, as far as leaderboard potential. But, oh wait, that's just my friends list, okay. So I'm, uh, wait, no, I don't want to go to the previous daily, I want to see... Hang on. What? Where am I? I want to go to today! Like, you, fuck it. <laughs> anyway, I was number 14 for today. That's, uh... That's where, what that comes down to. We're gonna, since that was so short and this is the first day the game comes out, I am gonna do a normal adventure. But uh, in the future, I'm probably just gonna end it after one challenge. No matter how short or long it is, it might be, you know, an hour and a half long journey into hell. Or it might be, uh, you know, a 10 minute fail or like that. Or even sooner, maybe I'd just die in two minutes. Whatever it is, I think it will be more exciting as a series to just sort of end it wherever it is. I say this hypocritically because here I am starting another one, but it's the release day of Spelunky. I can do what I want. I really want to play more of this game. And uh, honestly, after I finish recording this video, I'll probably stream some Spelunky as well. But that was a lot of fun. I'm hooked. I'm into it. God, I want my Kapala back. It was so good. Everything was going so great. I was like on track to go to the uh, go to hell that run if I was like not a terrible player. I had everything I needed. Everything was going perfectly. And I threw it all away. What do we got in this crate here? A machete. I'll take that, I suppose. Not the greatest item, but uh, it's like it's an upgraded whip. It's a little bit easier to use. The animation's less like fucked up. The whip, uh, the whip has some nuance to it for sure. The the animation is very strange. But we're gonna probably ditch this machete for the damsel. I don't see it being worth like trying to juggle a damsel and a machete to get through here. We're just gonna leave it be. That's okay. I'm all right with that. I really want to like know what's up there to know if it's worth using a rope. What if I come over here? Look up. Ah, there's some gems up there. Well, there's a gym. You know what? That's almost certainly worth a rope. I can buy a bundle of ropes for what I'm gonna gain here. But the, you know, the the risk here is I'm not sure if I'm gonna find a shop with ropes in it. But if I find a shop with ropes in it, I can buy three ropes for what I just spent one rope for. There's a ruby over there. I don't really see anything else too exciting. Yeah, that we already been in that area. So let's move onward. I should definitely be moving quickly. I, I gotta stop fucking around on floors for so long. I'm just so used to Isaac where there's no real uh, 
like impetus for a quick movement. I just got the fuck out of there, by the way, because I did not feel like dealing with uh, Mr. Scorpion. The scorpions are fucking dickholes. That's gonna be the hardest part of this for me. Like, I, I don't have the muscle memory of like dealing with enemies very well, so scorpions and shit are gonna be beating the shit out of me. I know how to make good decisions for the most part. I don't know how to just play the game without dying repeatedly. Uh, I'm investing a lot of stuff to come over here in the hopes that it's gonna pay off. I, there's a big area over here, so I felt comfortable kinda spending some resources. There comes the ghost. We're running back to the exit ASAP. Not gonna give him time to fuck with me. See you later. Gotta stop letting the ghost come on every floor. This is, my heart can't take it. Oh man, I'm so happy to be finally playing this game, you guys. Oh shit, okay. Almost made a terrible mistake. Here's what would happen if I fucking dropped a rock there. The arrow trap would shoot the shopkeeper, and the shopkeeper would be fucking pissed. So that shop, uh... We pretty much have to imagine that shop doesn't exist, unfortunately. You know, if I if I do anything to try to get in there, the shopkeeper is going to be furious at me. If I blow up the arrow trap, pretty sure he'll be mad at me unless I do it just right, which I don't trust myself to do. If I, uh, you know, trigger the arrow trap to go in there... Well, I guess what I could do is, like, drop my own body in there to block the arrow and trade two health for the privilege of shopping in that man's fine establishment. But, uh, I don't think it's really worthwhile. I didn't see anything too great in there. Spike shoes are nice, don't get me wrong. But, uh, two health is a pretty big deal, and I do not want to waste it on nothing. I don't think it's worth it bombing my way in there, but, you know, it's hard to tell. Let's go ahead and drop a bomb in there. It's gonna kill the large spider to give us paste, which makes our bombs stick to surfaces. Oh. There was a snake in there and I almost walked directly the fuck into him. Fuck skeletons, by the way. Let's go ahead and grab this gym. We're, we have a substantial sum of money right now. I Like, really, really good money for Floor 2. If I could find a shop that had something good in it, like a cape or a jetpack, I'd be into that for sure. I'm running low on resources as well. I would love to just have the opportunity to buy like a bomb box and a thing of ropes. Well, here we go. Alright. I know I just said I was doing really well on money, so this seems like a really dumb idea. But, uh... Fuck it. I want to kill all the shopkeepers. Uh, because that guy had a shotgun sitting around. It was so easy. It was so easy. Nobody... You know, it was the perfect crime. I could just kill the shit out of him. He couldn't do anything. And now we have a fucking shotgun. It is going to be fun. My, my reasoning here... I don't think I'm going to beat the game right now. I don't think there's any chance of that happening. So let's just have some fun. You know, until it all goes to hell. That's uh, that's how I feel about it. I can also stop being obsessive about picking up gold, I guess, as well. I wouldn't want to be if I was doing the daily challenge because... Uh, um, because there's a high score mechanic there and I want to beat all of my friends, but... You know, now that I'm not on the daily challenge, you know, I'm not going to set, like, the the global high score for Spelunky today. There's no chance of that. So, fuck it. Let's just kill a bunch of stuff. So I used a rope to get in here. That was probably a bad decision in hindsight. I got a lot of money out of it. Like, that chest was almost certainly worth the rope. Um, you know, financially speaking. But... You know, now we're in a situation where we only have one more rope left, and who knows when we might need that. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until this guy fires. Pull off a sweet jump. Shotgun's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying this a lot. Oh, there's a shop over there. Okay, this this shopkeeper is gonna be furious. Yeah. So we gotta we gotta be really careful about how we do this. We're gonna do that. He doesn't know we're here. He has no idea that I'm about to come in here and fucking murder the shit out of him. I have just I just have to make sure that he's facing away from me. Just turn around. Turn around, motherfucker. Oh no. That was close. Alright, now we kill the shit out of him. We get a second pair of spike shoes. And two more shotguns. It's uh less than ideal, I would say. But uh 
you know. At least we killed him before he killed us, because he, he would have been pissed uh, had he noticed us before I, you know, silently took him out. Though, I gotta remember, I, I spent a lot of time just waiting for him to be facing the proper direction for that roost to take place, so... We gotta hurry a little bit here. We've got a, a, an angry man down here. He's really pissed off that I killed his friend, I guess. I don't know, they must have like walkie-talkies or something, so he he heard the line go dark. He's like, D Bob, what's wrong? Bob, report in! And then, uh, then he realized that his friend was dead and now he's just running around shooting his shotgun randomly. This is a bad situation. I, I think I just shot him? Oh god, okay, I definitely did. Yes, okay, he's dead. We killed him. I heard a damsel. Also, there's a fucking golden chest here. No idea where the key is, only one rope with which to get back up. Seems like a bad call to me. I'm just gonna throw that out there. So let's go ahead and move on to the next floor instead. Tons of pointless money. Hey, it's Tuttle Man. Uh, yes, I will give you one bomb so that you can blow up a boulder. I would like to unlock all the short shortcuts. I'm probably gonna use them almost never or completely never. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of a completionist, so, you know, that's definitely going to be a thing that happens this playthrough. I'm going to I'm gonna be doing the bullshit, getting the golden key. Oh, man. Guys, I almost just died. I was unbelievably close to my downfall there. That was... Oh, no! How did you get hit? The fucking... Ah, oh, man. The, the sh spread on the shotgun is ridiculous. I hate... I hate Tiki Traps. I hated them in the old version, I hate them now! Okay. That didn't go well. But we're okay, well it did, I lived, but I, I took some damage, I'm not happy about it. Alright, so I murdered a damsel, we got a, we got a shopkeeper here. I'm not really comfortable with uh, the situation he's in. Well, he's not really comfortable either, so that's okay. If you can just keep on headbutting, yeah, there you go. Just headbutt the fucking tiki trap until you die. That's uh, I'm okay with that outcome of that. Uh, so far, going way better than I thought it was going to. I would really love to find a shop with a bunch of free, awesome stuff. I want a jetpack. I want uh, you know, climbing gloves. I want a lot of things. Things that shops can give to me. Things that I don't have to pay for. Thanks to the fact that uh, I'm just killing every shopkeeper I come across. There we go. I don't like how close I have to get to these spikes. I think I can pull this off. I see a secret character down. Oh, man. If I was unhappy about the spikes before. Okay. Got some bombs. Uh, I'm just not going to try to go past those spikes. I see it playing out of my head. Me trying to get out over those spikes and falling and dying. We're just not dealing with that. Oh no, I killed the secret character immediately! What was I thinking? Uh, but we did unlock a secret character, so I mean, that's a thing. Uh, I'm just gonna drop the damsel down there, and if she lives, then that's fucking great. Oh, she's definitely not gonna live through that. She's gonna get eaten by piranhas. Or actually, I think piranhas might not be aggressive to damsels. How, how's she doing down there? Let's check it out. Let's, uh, Assess the situation. Yeah, she's fine. I would just have to kill two piranhas to save her, which is, uh... I'm gonna get one health out of that? I don't know, uh... I don't know if, uh, on average, I would get it out of that engagement, you know, without taking one damage. <laughs> you know, the, the net is gonna be at least zero, or at most zero, I think, from that engagement. So I probably should not go in- oh god, the bees. I love to go in, in there and get like, what, four health from the royal jelly from killing the master bee. I also don't really want to fight a bunch of bees. Hey, spring shoes from- oh no! You fucking asshole. Okay. I'm gonna pick up the spring shoes. How the fuck are we even gonna get around these bees? Shit, okay, I don't have... Um... We're just gonna have to go into the beehive. I don't have uh, climbing gloves or anything, so, oh god, okay. That was like the worst hole I could have made into this beehive, isn't it? Oh no, it's the bee hole! 
because it's so hard for them to get out of there so I have to like oh man I really am not happy about this I'm just gonna bounce on this dude's head that worked out beautifully that was amazing oh no the chill okay the ghost is coming we got to get out of here we don't have a compass where do we go no that guy's so angry no okay we just have to go we just have to oh no 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 okay everything's everything's uh going a little crazy right now oh, okay okay we gotta leave we gotta leave that guy's gonna shoot the shit out of me nope I'm gonna take his fucking shot no no <laughs> That's the most fun I've had dying in a video game ever in my entire life. <laughs> that was fucking ridiculous. Anyway, thank you guys for watching episode one of Spelunky. I'm so excited to be playing this game. Holy shit, you guys. You have no idea. Oh my god, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Spelunky, and I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow with a different video as well. And uh, that's that for today. See you guys next time.